Blackman sprint right to the end zone. First touchdown of the year, Florida State. It's in the hands of Keyshawn Hill. The two receivers to the right, they're going to release inside to try to create that mesh, making it very difficult for the defender to quickly jump leverage into the... Second and one play action. Blackman flips it, and it's McDonald again. And McDonald scores a touchdown to the Knowles offense. Finally finds the end, and a good-looking 12-play 79-yard drive. Yeah, this, this, this drive, again, very reminiscent of the opening drive. This time they're able to put it in the end zone. Love the screen. Getting a lot of pressure. One of the ways you deal with that pressure is you screen. Tight end does a good job of selling it like he's staying in to block and pass pro and then just releases after the defender gets by him. And then how about the blocks downfield by the offensive lineman hust hustling downfield. Maurice Smith, good job there. Up top, you see that arm. Travis, deep ball to the goal line and in for the touchdown. Travis to Hilton. Touchdown Seminoles. TD connection from Travis to oh, Helton. Second and one. Let's have a little bit of fun and let the sophomore air it out. Drops the dime in there. Two bodies there covering the Pensacola native Keyshawn Helton, who's been returning kicks as well today. By Harper to step up and try to stuff it. Touchdown. Travis. Behind his offensive line from short yardage, he slams it in, and it's a touchdown for Florida State. High security red zone on second and ten. Through a hole to the five and spinning down to the goal line and in for the touchdown. Knowles pounded in. 15 yards. Play. You know, a Maurice Jones Drew type of guy. Look at him. He gets through that traffic securing the football. Are you kidding me? Retained his balance, James. Gosh, that's pretty. And third and short. We'll toss it out. Tor Philly. Inside the five to the pylon and in for the touchdown. Lawrence Tor Philly. The Gamecocks are going to have several bodies out here that they can create a vice angle, and it's just jumping inside. Our guy Fuquay right there, Colby Fuquay, has as planned for the Knolls. Trying to get to the pylon and diving in for the touchdown. Let Damian Webb for Florida State to the end zone. The Jones College transfer A, and look at Jordan Travis trying to get out there and get a piece of one of the defenders to lead the way for LaDamian. Looking for the end zone and in. Jay Sean Corbin. Touchdown, Florida State. Opening up some big holes for these backs to run through and running hard. Webb is the back. Travis will keep and untouched. He goes into the end zone for the touchdown. So the second Notre Dame mistake. Run. It never came off because of a delay of game, but it's a design quarterback option. Jeremiah Amoso Kuramoro had to take the pitch. Right directing traffic. Travis loading up, going downfield. There's chance, and it's brought in by Hilton. Keyshawn Hilton's in. Oh, the kick that it's Terry. It is Tamari and Terry for the touchdown. 48 yards. And Mike, we saw how hard that Sean Crawford drove on that hitch. They come back to a little double move, slant and go. Sean jumped on it, Crawford jumped on it, and Tamari and Terry has the speed to go get this ball. A history of big plays for Terry and the quarterback. And it's wet. We get the blocking on the edge. Puts his head down and gets in for the touchdown. So LaDamian Webb and Florida State run it down the field in two and a half minutes on the Irish 
and Florida. That, that's impressive. And we heard Coach Kelly talk about the adjustments that Notre Dame made. Well, the adjustment that Florida State made was we're going to be aggressive with our run game. Crack sweep. Good blocking on the outside. And it has paid off immediately. Nifty run. It's Jordan Travis, the quarterback, with a Florida State touchdown. Travis on the zone read keep. Beautiful job selling the fake and then showing his running ability. Ran for 96 yards. Running back. Travis keeps it himself. Surges forward. Touchdown, Florida State. Watch the right guard. Travis is going to go right on his hip and power it into the end zone. Impressive drop. Devin Travis on the right. Oh boy. And that pass is intercepted to the delight of all Seminole fans. Joshua Kando, the pick six. This is his first career interception, Redshirt Jr. from Baltimore, who spent some time at IMG Academy here in Florida. Uh, again. North Carolina's refusal to throw the football down the field. Florida State is just guessing now on a lot of these short throws. There's horizontal throws, but there's not vertical. 33-yard uh, gain for Warren Thompson. All these wide receivers stepping up without Kamari and Terry. No, a touchdown. Travis to Cameron McDonald, the tight end. up but it's all because of his ability to use his feet his legs extend third and five from the eight Travis lost the handle bouncing ball got it back side steps him in Travis to the end zone and he dives for the goal line touchdown Florida State Are you kidding me do you know how hard it is to to bounce a football back up into your hands Cool as can be and making it out. 7 of 11 on fourth in the season. Fourth and goal to the end zone. And a touchdown. Ontario Wilson on the catch on fourth and goal for Florida State. And they get it in the end zone. Good you are covering in the secondary. You can't be asked to cover forever. And that's what the rollout. You see there, they bring a tight end. That's Wyatt Rector, by the way, who comes in to take the snap and then plunge into the end zone. The transfer from Western Michigan. Dillingham was working on his playbook during the bye week. Well, Kenny Dillingham told us that they went back to basics, and maybe this is one of the basics. <laughs> Another one of those zone reads. And Travis will keep it. Cuts back, and Jordan Travis... Reaches midfield and is way ahead of the race. Touchdown. Look at that. You send the orbit motion, you clear out the cornerback, he makes the safety. Brandon Hill miss, and it is to the house. Nobody had a chance of catching 13. Well, Rocky, we said he was a game-breaker. You're right, Wes. And one thing I know as a former linebacker, Travis does a really good job on his zone read, Roddy, of riding that fake down in there hard. You don't know when he's going to pull it, when he's going to give it. It really freezes those linebackers for just a split second. And Corbin finds the cutback lane, and Jason Corbin scores for Florida State. 28-yard run for Corbin, and the Knowles in the end zone for the first time tonight. They finally gash him on the left side of the offense. Jason Corbin makes the man miss in the secondary and is able to get him for the touchdown. They've gone with it tonight. Purdy, buying time, looks down the field and wide open. Ontario Wilson will score. How about that? Well, the freshman keeps his composure, but it's a three-man route, and Ontario Wilson just slips right between the two defenders in cover three.
See the corner goes to the outside, forgets about the inside man. Safety doesn't come over to help until late. And on. Maybe he boxed out the defender so he couldn't make a play on the ball. It's the only thing I can think of. Here's a throw to the end zone, and Thompson, the great catch. Is he in? Yes. They give Warren Thompson the touchdown. With Malik Dunlap defending, this is a heck of a catch. Some good ones from this Florida State team. This battle just a second ago, Thompson gets pushed out of bounds. Here he goes over the six foot four Malik Dunlap and is able to make the catch. Oh. That left foot looks like it gets down just ahead of the right one, which is on the sideline. There's no doubt that the right foot is. Yeah. Ja'Kai Douglas on the receiving end, and Florida State jumps out early. Play calling by Kenny Dillingham for Florida State. Consistently using the read option by the quarterback, and this time just throws it out to a little. Going into the bag and tricks a little bit here. Corbin using that blocker in front of him, trying to get to the goal line, spins, and he's in. Initially stopped, but he was able to use that spin move. Move the ball across the goal line, two yards, and the score early. Yeah, watch this second effort. You see the downhill contact right there. And that's Shaka Hayward with the big hit, but... As a team, as far as turnovers go, the 36th turnover. Corbin's going to turn it into points. This touchdown is under review. Let's take another look at the replay. I guess they're looking to see if they have him in Jordan Travis. Certainly looks the part today. Now a big run up the middle for the Knowles and a score. Treshawn Ward. The redshirt freshman with his first touchdown as a member of the Florida State Seminole. Watch this tackle pull. That's number 52, Robert Scott. Another true freshman. He's going to pull around. Tight end's going to cut off and just leads the way. I mean, there are massive running. Gantt today, here is a TFL, an interception, and a forced fumble in this game. Travis gets loose. He'll score. As we've seen like all that. game long. Yeah, Mark. Every this time it was a pull read. Yeah, they're just reading number 86 on the defense. Wildcat right there. Yep. Got a big block in front of him. Gets to the end zone and scores. Jayshon Corbin's second touchdown of the day extends the Knowles lead. It's about the leadership on this team. They said, yeah. Jayshon Corbin hasn't been here for that long, but he has assumed. Records being broken in that North Carolina Miami game, too. You're going to want to hear all about that. Wide open. And another score for Ja'Kai Douglas. Got Marquise Waters, number zero, biting on the little pitch fake. Ja'Kai Douglas just ran right past him. No one. Back deep. Dolfini could be gone. <laughs> they won't catch him. Another huge play and one play drive for the Knowles. 73 yards for the true freshman from St. Petersburg. Man, we, we were excited last year about the running back talent in the ACC, A.J. Dillon, Cam Akers, but, I mean, this year might be even better. Monte Williams.